Hi everyone. In this week's parsha of Kiti Sa, Hashem instructs Moshe about the service in the Mishkan that involved the Ketorah, the incense. And there Hashem specifically tells Moshe that the entire stash of incense, even that incense is what was, was not going to be used on that day, had to be kept in the Mishkan very close to the Holy of Holies, the Kodesh Kodeshim. Now it seems reasonable to expect that if the only place that you were allowed to use the Ketorah, the incense, was in the Mishkan, that that should be its storage place. Yet the Torah specifically designates and particularly warns Moshe that it could only be kept in the Mishkan. Rav Moshe Feinstein, Zecher Tzadik Livracha, offers an explanation as to why Hashem demanded that all the incense be located very near the Holy of Holies. And Rav Moshe tells us, of course, that incense is that beautiful fragrance that wafts far and wide. It is never restricted or localized just to the place in which it's ignited. The fragrance moves and influences and affects the environment around it. And so too, says Rav Moshe, is that the nature of human interaction. The things that we do, the things that we say, our actions never remain localized, but have impact sometimes so far beyond anything we expect. But if that's the case, if we as human beings are capable of such extraordinary influence, then we must position ourselves, as it were, nearest the Holy of Holies. Let the influence that we bring be an influence of holiness, of kedusha, of goodness, of that which brings light to the world. And that's why Hashem insisted that the Ketor, the incense, be located to remind us that just like incense, we too can bring influence so far beyond our immediate area. But let that influence be one of positivity, of Kedusha, of holiness, and goodness. It's a Torah thought. It only takes a moment. Shabbat Shalom, everyone.